Okay, so we're at IMTS. We're at the Select Machine booth. I'm here with my buddy Doug. We're going to be talking at Barmia. Doug, thank you so much for spending some time. I know you've been busy all morning. Yep. Clearly, you're the man with the answers. Someone was saying, what, the Google of machine tools? Yeah, that's what somebody called me once. Oh, okay. Love that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So we're standing inside this, in front of this giant machine. Now I was talking to the application engineer and one of the things I found is I'm, I'm not familiar with the Heidenheim control, okay. but how do you find that? You've been in machine so, tools for a couple days. Yeah, so. the Heidenheim, we find the Heidenheim TNC7 control to be a very, very powerful CNC control. Yeah. Uh, a lot of features that are very well uh, uh, targeted towards five axis machining in the mold and die okay. uh, work. Uh, they, the Heidenhain has done very, very extensive work in five-axis machining and multi-axis machining uh, with smoothing capabilities and other yeah. features necessary in a, in a five-axis machine. And uh, the new TNC7 offers a very powerful HMI, so the okay. operator has a very uh, double touch or what do they call it, a multi-touch capability. Oh, so it's not the, just a single touch. Screen. Yeah, so oh. you can zoom in by pinching. Very similar just to what you would do with your iPhone. I was going to say, iPad. if you can use a smartphone, then this Correct. control is going to be really right. easy to pick up. There's some very powerful editing tools in the TNC7 for editing uh, programs or features. Uh, and it, it's just overall a very operator friendly and, uh, and powerful CNC control. Which, yeah, I was talking to Jan a yeah. little bit this morning and I was like, man, I never ran them and he stepped me through a bunch of different stuff. We're not going to go into depth right now for right. the people out there. But I was surprised at just how simple the navigation yeah. is. Yeah, it's very intuitive. It, yeah. it, Heidenheim's controls have always been very focused on the machinist and the machinist language. So if you yeah. want to program at the machine, it basically uses just machinist language to say, oh, I want to do a bolt hole circle. I want yeah. to mill a pocket. That is such a handy feature. Yeah. Now this machine, we can step up here. We've got okay. our guy mobile over there on the camera. He's going to follow us. But this machine, I mean, what do you know? And I'm putting you on the spot. If you don't have the exact number, that's okay. But do you know what the work capacity is of this? Yeah, so this machine has a 39 inch table oh. and a 49 inch swing. So yeah. it's a one meter diameter table with a 1.2 meter swing. The spindle is a 12,000 RPM, yep. 112 horsepower, 112 with about 147 horse. foot-pounds of torque. Oh wow! HSK 100. So it's capable of heavy heavy cutting in addition to uh, uh, high speed cutting. Yeah, well, and that's that's even like the giant knuckle up there. Right. It's just for for a three plus two system. It's absolutely fantastic to have such a so robust this, joint. Yeah. So this system is actually four in one. So oh, there's only okay. a single axis on the head. Yep. You have X, Y, and Z in yep. the column, the vertical, and the under the table. Okay. You have the fourth axis in the rotation of the table, and yep. the fifth axis on the on the 45 degree of the head. That is yep. awesome. So yep. it, it sounds like they stacked them all up to have some really seriously rigid joints. So much, much better rigidity. Yep. And, and Jan kind of gave me a little bit of a sneak peek. But he said that's a full turning table as yes. well, so you can put this yeah. with all your this, turning tools in here? This, this table's capable of turning it up to 500 RPM. Oh, wow. Uh, and then, of course, it's also a pallet changer with the dual pallet system. Yeah. That's fantastic. And, of course, we've got the aerospace part in there now. Right. Now, and I know the other side, there's a little bit something different because... I, from what I understand, correct me if I'm wrong, Abarmi is one of those companies where they m use their machines to make their yes. machines. Uh, they have two or three of their own machines in their production facility, yeah. machining their critical components for the machines that go into assembly. Yeah. The part that's on the other table is actually a head, uh, a spindle housing for the ZVH series machines. Yeah. So this is the... This is the face that with the B axis, the, the torque motor would be mounted to. Okay. And then the spindle would be in there vertically. Uh, and okay. so this is the housing that would house that electro spindle. Yeah, well, I mean, when you've got a high accuracy machine like this, of course you'd want to use it for something delicate exactly. like that. Yeah. But the fact that it's a machine that can make itself, there's not a lot of machine tool builders that can make that claim. Correct. Some can, yep. and I love that Abarmia makes Abarmia with Abarmia. That's correct. Yep. I don't know if I could say that again. <laughs> but he's trying to say it ten times fast. <laughs> right. Right. Well, so what else? When you're looking at this machine, and you're looking for a customer. What are some of the industries where you see are taking the best advantage of this package? Well, for sure, the aerospace industry is, yep. is one that we focus on today. In the space industry, there's a lot of uh, need for 
small high accuracy five axis with turning capability. Yeah. Mold and die valves. Okay. Uh, production valves. Um, any high precision five axis multi axis machining and turning. Yep. Um, pump housings is another one. Okay. Um, uh, certainly there are in die mold. There's some opportunities in die mold. Maybe yeah. not so much for the multi process in the turning. But in the in the extreme models that are just full five axis milling capable. Yeah, well, and there's options that are available for this machine. I don't know if they're yeah. all on this one. Not but, all. I mean, you've got the giant 120 tool capacity on right. the back. That, that thing can is be monstrous. Expanded to 240 or 360. If all the way up to 360 yes. in a single yes. machine. Yep. That's. It's <laughs> a lot of tools. Well, I like it because. Yeah because we've got like the the probe swings in and out of this machine sure. you don't have to worry about chips on it right. and all of the things that get in the way of it and there's just so many options that i heard there's even a grinding option for this yes you can add the grinding capability to this machine which increases the uh, the oh, weight covers okay. have increased seals or better seals yep. for it to handle the the grinding swarf oh, okay. and um with the uh, grinding, we can their grinding cycles are added to the CNC. Yep. And uh, so it's it doesn't make this machine a grinder, but no. it gives you the ability to do certain things with grinding capability that you ha would normally have to take to another machine. Yeah, and I mean something that a lot of people are looking at in manufacturing is you're trying to reduce your setups, the amount right. of times that part's handled. So if you do a giant housing and you just have one bearing bore you want to grind out. Yep. You can do it here in this machine rather than transferring it, shipping sure. it maybe outside well, maybe of your own you company. Maybe you just need it cleaned up for finish. Yeah. And you don't, because you don't need the turn marks on it or the milled marks on it. You exactly. You just need the, to clean up that surface. That's where our grinding capability can help. Well, that's but absolutely. But you also have hobbing capability yep. available for oh. for hobbing gears or, or sky power skiving for yeah. cutting gears. Uh, those technologies are available on this platform. And again, this is our smallest in the T series. This is the twelve. <laughs> this is size. the smallest. This is the the <laughs> smallest T series. We, this I said earlier, this has a one point two meter swing, forty nine yeah. inch swing. Yeah. We go up to three point six meter swing. So three point six meter swing is roughly one hundred and forty inches. Man, that is an impressive machine. That's a big machine. That's. We and, could all stand on the table. But <laughs> we could. We could have a little dance yeah. party on the inside. But the nice thing about that is it's a bigger footprint, but then you can add all of those capabilities. Yeah. So when you're getting into large, parts, larger parts. Yeah. Yeah. And for shops like that to have that much functionality in one work envelope, right. there's so many that would install several different machines sure. and just use a crane to move it between. Yeah. I've dropped yeah. parts going on and the with, crane. It's not with fun. 360 tools, you yeah. know, we talked about the large tool capacity. We, this this machine can also be adapted to a uh, a pallet system, so oh, an FMS really? system. So that's why the additional tools becomes important. Yeah. Because now we, instead of just two pallets, we could add six, eight, or ten pallets to this system, and give you much more expanded, unattended running. There is so much functionality in this yeah. one machine. Yeah. Especially. Well, that's what yeah. my army is good at. They not just providing the machine but yeah. customizing that machine to your requirements. That is fantastic. Yeah. So it sounds like if you've got parts that are in this work envelope and you're in the industries we've mentioned, that reaching out to yourself or another member at the Select Correct. Machine Tools location yep. would make a lot of sense to start that conversation yep. to see which Abarmia would be right for you. Yeah, not just Select Machining, but also our exclusive distribution network yep. with uh, Morris, Hartwig and Gossiger and Arizona CNC across the United States. That's fantastic. And they can all get you a Barmia if you need it. Absolutely. Well, Those are is, our exclusive distributors. That is great. Thank you so much, thank, Doug, thank you. for all the thank insight. You. I can sure. see why they call you the Google of machining, though. I'm sorry. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> well.